okay so let's let's everybody um, work together here please everybody see here so potential is given I, I, you really have to brush up your concepts of potential potential energy and how is it related to force and all that so we'll do all the steps here if there's enough room and time here so potential is given as v naught log of r by r naught okay so this part is clear now when you're talking of an electron electron has some potential energy right so potential energy is going to be e times of potential right what is potential potential is the amount of energy by one coulombs of charge if the amount of charge is e coulombs this is amount of energy so then e v naught log of r by r naught anybody who has not understood this step ask me here i cannot come here because this is going to be a very lengthy calculation i cannot come here and then proceed because if you don't understand this you will not understand further this is potential potential energy right now what is the definition of potential energy and i told you i don't know how much you studied potential energy in grade 11 potential energy is such a function such that it's partial derivative with respect to the position right should give you so partial derivative with respect to position is this should give you the force that is the definition of potential energy so you you basically find the derivative of potential energy you should get the force right so the force is going to be minus of ev naught d by dr of ln r by r naught who can give me the who can tell me what is the derivative of this who can tell me the derivative of log of r by r naught please anybody you got to use the chain rule if nobody is speaking i will not speak also somebody has to say yes or no are you are you listening yes atri you're right on the right track atri but you have to use the chain rule yes yes monisha you are also right like atri you are telling the similar thing sai kumar yes yes right so let's actually understand a little of derivatives there please please focus here i have told this many times earlier i keep repeating this so let's say d by dx of sin x is cos x, right? But then if I say d by dx of sin 2x, I cannot write cos 2x. That is wrong. Because these two things have to match. As I said earlier, these two boxes should match. And that box comes here. These two don't match. You can't proceed here. So then you got to use the chain rule. Chain rule says, okay, let me make them match by writing d by d of 2x of sine 2x now this is cos 2x but then i've changed the original variable right so then i got to multiply this the derivative of the new variable with respect to the original variable right so this gives you cos 2x times 2 so 2 cos 2x this is how you use the chain rule okay so now we'll go back here and do the derivative together so d by dr of log of r by r naught. Oh, this is a problem because, see, one more thing you have to understand, memorize basically, d by dx of log x is 1 by x. And that is what most of you, Monisha and, and many, Sai Kumar, uh, Atri Patel are saying, right? That is true. But then the problem is this has to match then you can write that but this is not matching see this is r and this is r by r not that that doesn't work like that so then you can say okay temporarily i'll make it as d of i'll change this variable itself you got to do that change it and then you say multiply that by d by d r right of the new variable which is r by r not okay so now the derivative of this is reciprocal ulta right so that becomes r naught by r multiplied by this is one by r naught okay this is how you get one by r you got to know how you get one by r okay clear everybody is clear with that so far um I don't know what happened there yeah clear and everybody is clear with this part so far the green color thing 
so then i can plug in all that and i get actually force okay the force aa gaya hamara and then um force kitna aa gaya ab yahan par force hamara aa gaya minus ev not by r right because all the der derivative ln r by r not is going to give me 1 by r theek hai now this is supposed to be equal to m v square this v is velocity this v not was potential so don't cross it up v square by r so r to cut gaya there's no more r now theek hai so now i have this but then then what we have to do is find the variation of r n with respect to n right so when we we don't have to cross out r we need to bring back r but cross out v somehow and that gives me a clue i can go back to the one of the bohr's postulates and say mvr so let's write it down so now bohr's postulate tell me mvr should be equal to n times h by 2 pi theek hai from here you take the velocity velocity is n h by 2 pi m r and then you plug this in into this here so ignore all that negative sign that's just telling the direction so e v not is equal to mass velocity square which is n square h square by 4 pi square m square r square theek hai all set right and then you can cross out whatever you can cross out here you can if there is a mistake in calculation you got to point it out i am a human i will make mistakes right so r square is all there so then you got to take the square root square root gives you n h by 2 pi and then square root ke andar aa gaya m e v not and they're saying find the variation of r n with n so r varies directly as n now before i jump on to concluding that i did the right thing yeah just to make sure there is no mistake yeah there is no mistake yeah anybody who did not understand part of this let me know green color blue color black color red color only four colors are available on, on the whiteboard anyways so which part is not clear tell me i will explain that or if it is clear just at least write the word clear so that i can know i can move on okay poll is it clear yes or no true means clear false means not clear is it clear true or false theek hai i would advise that you can take a screenshot of this you can replay the video but before you do that what you should be doing is you should be looking at the question and then doing on a blank sheet of paper safed paper lo kala paper lo doesn't matter you scribble on this you try to do it yourself and then you match it with what i have done here so i'm closing the poll 69% students responded with true others did not reply so i don't know what that no reply means is it understood or not understood you got to reply and then i understand what you're saying <laughs> now till now we were talking of the radius right we we eliminated so we had two variables two equations we eliminated velocity and we found the radius now we'll do the opposite of that we'll eliminate radius and find the velocity it's the same thing it's nothing new here so we are starting with this doing this if you want i can do the calculation but this is so obvious what we did the same thing from here what you do is you take the value of r as in nh by 2 pi mv and plug it in here you got to eliminate r and then you get the velocity velocity comes out to be this and then when you reduce it by plugging in all the values here planck's constant 2 pi and all that you get 2.2 into 10 to the power 6 times z by n meters per second that is si unit there so i'm i'm showing this slide for another 20 30 seconds if it anything is not clear just let me know please i will explain that part
okay so now yeah everybody please work on this question and tell me good most of the answers are right Min minor answers are wrong that's all right we'll work on this see this is based of the previous slide the very slide before this the slide before this So this is what I get. Most of the answers are right. That is B option. Now, if you go back to the previous slide, isn't this exactly what we studied just now? I mean, you cannot Z by N. Velocity is inversely proportional to N, right? Does everybody understand it now? It's, it's, we studied this here just now, right? That's what I'm asking you. Okay. This is not difficult question. This is actually easy question. I'm giving everybody four minutes on this. I want 100% right answer, please. A humble request. You have to please work on this seriously. If you want, I will repeat this. This will be used here, this expression. I will write it for you maybe if you want. V is equal to um, Z by N times 2.2 times 10 to the power 6, and that is already in SI unit. So no conversions needed anyways. Okay, so this is the right answer, uh, B, right? Most of the students are saying B, yes, it is B. So let's do it together. Please, everybody look here. I will explain this with all the steps, but you have to participate in at least looking at it. Angular momentum of electron is given this, right? This gives a very good clue that N is equal to three. Remember, angular momentum is N times reduce Planck's constant they're telling you n is 3 if they're telling you n is equal to 3 and it is a hydrogen atom the velocity is 1 by 3 right times 2.2 times 10 to the power 6 meters per second anybody who did not understand this this much anybody who did not follow until now okay now kinetic energy kinetic energy is half times mass you don't have to write nine point whatever mass is 10 to the power minus 31 that's all what i care right v square v square is one butter nine because i'm squaring all this and i will just split it up because it's easy to cancel out things 10 to the power 12 right the answer is so this is in joules what i found just now is in joules but they want it in electron volts but that so then you got to divide it by 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 90. Now, students, you don't really start doing the difficult calculations. This is unnecessary complicated division multiplication. You have to do quick and dirty calculation, very quick estimate. Now, look at this. These powers all cancel out. 31 and 12 gives you 19, and this is 19. So I, I don't really care. It's over. I don't want to deal with any powers here. Ye wala no is no se kar gaya. It's over. And then I don't really want to go into the details of all this. This two crosses out this two, right? Kind, almost, right? So now 2.2 divided by 1.6, isn't it like this is obviously the answer? There's nothing left. You have to really do smart calculations like that. You don't start dividing it. So don't start saying, oh, 2.2 times 2.2, and then I will divide all of that by 1.6. That's a waste of your time. You have to do estimates in this. And this is not from exam perspective. Please take it in writing if you have to. This is not from exam perspective. In real life also, when you go out and start working, you have to do quick and intelligent guesses at many places. You have to do estimations there. You don't need exact value. You need estimations. 
So let's let's move on uh, to the next question. Mia Gethner calculate karke 1.53 aya. So then the answer is 1.51, which was quick and dirty, right? Very quick calculations, no details. Clear, everybody is clear. Okay, clear, yes or no, true or false. Was it clear or was it not clear? 77% votes and 100% of those votes are saying yes. Now, I'm not sure why others are not voting, but then you have to participate and tell me if you have not. I, I'm assuming everybody understood. 